Hey Camp Quarantine, happy Friday. This is Frida Mani, and I'm grilling out on this beautiful Friday and I'm about to throw some burgers on the grill. I'm here today with you on National Hamburger Month. Um, this is a beautiful day to grill out and I'm gonna share some grilling slash barbecue secrets with you tonight. Here are some of my tricks for grilling out on these on nice beautiful days. Rule number one, have a nice cold beverage. Rule number two, always use charcoal. I insist on three ingredients only. Salt, pepper, garlic. You can always add a little more garlic than the salt and pepper because it balances it all out. Um, I believe in making the patties at the grill and pressing them right here instead of inside. Just superstitious habit. My secret technique is to put the burgers on the indirect side, um, not on the direct heat. Um, because it cooks slower and therefore the fat slowly renders out, closing the grill lid and letting it sit for 30 or 45 minutes and let it uh, slowly rise to 130, like you would do it in, in the oven. But then once it re reaches that temperature, I take it off, let it rest for five, 10 minutes. Usually I cook something else in between that time. And then uh, while when the charcoal is hot, I sear the, ch uh, the burgers on with some melt the cheese right on the patty. Now that the grill is nice and warm and the cast iron is warmed up, now it's time to sear the burgers. First, we sear one side, and then once that side's done, we flip it and then put the cheese on top. Just pop. And then I'm gonna put the lid on now to help let the cheese melt quicker. The skillet's already nice and hot. We don't need too much of a burn on uh, char on the bottom. Food's almost ready. How a lot of people have started to take into uh, gardening or planting stuff. <laughs> um, I decided to cook dead meat, <laughs> dead animals, and make them take the time and learn the art form of the uh, of it, and learn why it takes so long. We already cooked bacon and our burgers in this cast iron. Now we're going to cook, toast up the buns in the cast iron to soak up some of that good juice that was left over. A perfect burger. All you need is the meat, a pickle, and some bacon. Um, the perfect thing about a burger like this is you see the charred outsides and you still have that pink juicy middle on the inside. See you later, Kim Quarantine.